Netflix is an American provider of on-demand internet streaming media. Once you log in and pay your monthly fee, movies you can select can be watched instantly through your computer or gaming system. Netflix recently revolutionized the way television content is created for audiences, and they did that using analytics. They first started by collecting data, lots of it, lots and lots of it. Since they had access to the viewing preferences of all their members, this put Netflix in a great position to predict what kind of people want to watch what in which genre. Netflix's vast analysis led them to the conclusion that David Fincher, the director of The Social Network, was very popular. The British version of The House of Cards, a political television drama from the 90s, had been well received by their existing viewers. And that the viewers of both David Fincher and the British House of Cards also watch films starring Kevin Spacey. Each of these very individual factors had to contain a certain volume of users. Netflix had a lot of users in each category. This weighed in heavily when Netflix ultimately then made the decision to buy the rights to the show and create an American version of House of Cards. But that's not where the analytics ended. Netflix further customized the experience by having different advertisements and promotions for the series tailored to different types of viewers. While Kevin Spacey's fans saw a lot of Kevin Spacey in the promotions, fans of the director were reminded of his critically acclaimed films. So did all of this work? A resounding yes. It brought in 2 million new US subscribers in the first quarter of 2013. a 7% increase over the previous quarter. It also brought in 1 million new subscribers from elsewhere in the world. If we were to go just by the production figures alone, just these 3 million new subscribers almost reimbursed Netflix the cost of creating the show.